um, but I wanted to come up here and talk with you guys just a second this morning and let and talk about something that has been dear to my heart, something that has been s revealed to me through some content that um, I was watching, you know, while getting dressed, and it really just dawned on me something that was that's very very important. Um, and the subject is, does God play favorites, right? Does God play favorites with his children? Does God play favorites with his people, right? I mean, and the obvious answer to that, of course, is is no. But let's think about it for just a second. Let's think about it for just, just a second, right? So it's not that God necessarily per se plays favorites, um, but he does show more attention and favoritism, you know, to those who are walking in their purpose. Okay? So God doesn't have a favor as if he loves you more than me or loves me more than you. But he does have favorites when it comes down to those who are walking in their purpose and doing what they're supposed to be doing, right? So the question is, how can you get more favor from God? How can you get more favor in your relationships? How can you get more favor in your business? How can you get more favor in your health? How can you get more favor, you know, um, with your relationships and your family, right? How can you put get more favor in your community? And the way to do that is by adding more value and becoming more valuable to those places in your life. Because if you look at it and you say, oh, well, God's not hearing me. God's not listening to me. My prayers are not being answered. Are you serving in those areas that you want your prayers to be answered? Are you becoming more valuable to the world, to the kingdom in those areas, right? I'm just going to use business as an example real quick for 30 seconds. You know, if you want to, you know, get more, get more customers, get more clients, um, be able to get more reviews and, and get more referrals in your business. Guess what? You have to become more valuable to your customers. Right. So the reason why people are not seeing value and seeing favor from God is because they're not providing value to the kingdom and the kingdom, which is our works here on earth that we are doing for the uplift of the Lord. Right. And you can uplift the Lord in your business. You can uplift the Lord in your relationships, in your home with through raising your kids. You can uplift the Lord through your job. You can uplift the Lord through your community and serving other people. A lot of people think that because you run a business or that you work a job that you can't serve God through the, the, the place he has put you in. Because if you can't if you can't take the tools and the gifts and the talents. Right. Right. This is a this is a story in the Bible. Right. There were there were, uh, you know, God had given these these men. He gave one man five talents. He gave one man three talents and he gave one man one talent. The guy with the five talents, he went out here and multiplied in the earth and he and he made he was fruitful with his talents. The guy with only two talents, he was out here and became fruitful and multiplied in the earth with his only two talents. But the guy that only had one talent, he took his talent and he buried it in the ground because he compared what he had versus what the other man had. And the problem is, it's not that God does not love you or God is not hearing you, but it's that you're not becoming fruitful with the things he has already given you, right? You're not becoming fruitful in your household with your family. You're not becoming fruitful in your marriage. You're not becoming fruitful in your business, right? You're not producing on the level that God has called you to produce with what he has given you. And that's not being fruitful, right? If I have 12 seeds and all those seeds create apple trees and I only plant one seed and I only get one tree, I'm not being fruitful because I have 11 other seeds that need to be planted. Okay? I have 11 other seeds that need to be planted. So I'm not being fruitful when I'm only going 10% of what I can produce. You're not being fruitful when you're only doing 20% of what you can do. You're not being fruitful when you're only giving half the effort. You're not being fruitful when you're only giving 70%.
See, the reason why, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the sauce. I'm going to give you the game. The reason why my business has been growing every single day in the past 30 to 60 days, just like this, just like this, just new people, just new clients, people are being blessed in our opportunity, is because 30 days ago, 60 days ago, 90 days ago, when no one was watching, when no one wanted to use my service, when no one wanted to get their credit repair fixed, when no one wanted a new opportunity to build their business, I was still being fruitful. I was still getting up every day and contacting people. I was still getting up and... And, and pursuing meetings. I was still getting up and doing YouTube videos over 200 over 200 videos on my YouTube page, over over 200 Facebook live videos on my Facebook page. I have over close to over 100 TikTok videos of content. I was still being fruitful. I was still being fruitful. And now the Lord is hearing me. Now the Lord is seeing that okay, my son, you're being consistent. You're 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 going through the plan. You're applying the pressure. Now it's time for, for the floodgates to open up. And that's what you guys need to do. See, a lot of you guys are only wanting to be fruitful and bless others when you have the attention, when the spotlight is on you, when you get to be the center of the room, when everyone's got their eyes on you. But you got to be fruitful through, through the valley and the shadows of death. Daniel said, though do I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Because who? Because for thou is with me the lord is with you even in your darkest times the lord is with you in a business where it's a drought where clients are not showing up where customers are dropping off where you're not getting as many hours at your at your job when your boss is having a, a, a bad afternoon or a bad week or your company is having a bad week or a bad month or a bad year throw your even though you are walking through the valley thou is still with you so still walk in your favor even in the shadows. Still walk in your favor even through the dark times. A lot of you guys are only walking in favor when it's sunny. You know, it's springtime right now. The, the, the leaves are, I mean, the, the bushes are, are blooming and, you know, all the, all the pollen flowers are up. You have to still serve God in what God has called you to do. Even in your dark times. Even through losing your job, even through your business crashing, even through Corona, even through your marriage going up and down, you still have to serve and do the things God has called you to do in order to receive that favor. Why did Moses have favor in the Bible? Why did David have favor in the Bible? Why did, why did Joshua have favor in, in the Bible, right? It's because they, they, they still continued to do what the Lord called them to do even in their dark times, they still applied and brought value to the kingdom. Right? How can, how can God depend on you to have more if you cannot be fruitful with what you have? If you can't take that one apple and turn it into two right now, why do you expect God to give you a basket and turn that into an entire field of apple trees? Listen, if you can't take the one apple God gave you and turn that apple into two, because God said the first commandment that God gave man was to be fruitful and multiply. The very first instruction that he ever gave us was to be fruitful and multiply. So if you can't take the one apple that God gave you and turn it into two and turn, it, turn that two into four. Then why would God give you a basket of apples to turn that into an entire field of apple trees? So that way you can bless other people. See, a lot of you guys want to go from one apple to an orchard. Just like that. But it does not happen that way, guys. It doesn't happen that way. You got to turn one into two. You got to turn two into four. You got to turn five into ten. And then you get to your major breakthrough. Then you get to your major breakthrough. Okay? So... Listen, use what you have so you can get where God has called you to go, right? Use your ability to pray. Use your ability to be able to, to, to give value to other people in this world, right? For you guys that have a business, use social media, put out content, put out value, network and build relationships with other people. And provide value to other people. Be a blessing to somebody. You want God to bless you. Be a blessing to someone else. Be a blessing to someone else. Okay. So. 
Hope you guys got some value out of today's video. If you did, guys, what you can do to make my day is be sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. Thumbs up this video, comment below, and share this with a friend or family member that needs some encouragement this morning or just tag them in the comment section. Um, but hope you guys have a great start to your week. Motivation Monday. Let's get off with a right foot. Let's get off in favor. Let's get off in the favor of the Lord, right? Step into your favor th this week. And by Wednesday, you should still be operating in your favor every single day, every single day. Wake up in the favor of the Lord and pursue in the way that God has called you to pursue. Love you, my friends. Take care. Stay blessed. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.